Hi, I'm Josh with the Airtime Pro team, and today I'm going to show you how to get your Airtime Pro station to send your broadcast and metadata to Live 365. I'd first like to say that in order for Live 365's licensing to cover you, listeners must connect via Live 365's player and not directly to your stream or via your radio page with Airtime Pro. It's important to direct your listener page to connect via the Live 365 player. The way we're going to make this work is through the relay feature in Live 365, so let's get that set up. Once you're logged into your Live 365 station, you'll want to click on Sources and navigate to the relay page. Next, we need to get our stream address for Airtime Pro. To do that, you'll want to click on Settings, then Streams, then scroll down to where you see the stream URLs. Right-click the HTTP stream and copy it to your clipboard. It's important to use the HTTP stream to make sure that Live365 gets the metadata. Now that we have our relay data, go ahead and paste that in and click Save. Next, because of how Live365's relay feature works, we'll need to navigate to AutoDJ and enable it. You can see me doing that here. Live365 will only relay a stream while the AutoDJ is active, so it's important to make sure that this is turned on. Now navigate to your Live 365 overview page, and you should see the metadata for the track that you're playing through Airtime Pro. That's it! Now you've got Airtime sending audio and metadata to Live 365, and you're all done. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.